Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. Uh, well, it's not really a tutorial, this is my latest video, and it is a free paper castle. You can download it, print it, and make it yourself. Uh, let's do the intro, and then we'll, I'll tell you more. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model rockets, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, so let's take a look at the castle. Um, pretty simple and straightforward, although you'd be surprised at how complicated it is to design something like this. So you need a little drawbridge and some stairs. Here's the back, right? Let's take a look at the different towers. And the stairs, that's the most difficult part of it, folding them just right to, so they fit. And um, I give you a template with everything you need in it. It has the instructions, the assembly instructions, and how to do it. And we'll take let's take a look through that. And I specifically, the pictures in the assembly instructions are um, low quality graphics, so it could just go easy on your printer. Really wasn't needed. High resolution pictures really aren't needed. But I take you through the process step by step. And in the packet, I think it's 16 pages total. I think 12 or 16 pages total. And then there's the parts for the castle. See, so I give you the instructions and the castle. See, there's one tower. Let's take well, let's take a look. Another tower. Even though they're very similar, they're not they're not exactly the same. Some more parts. And you know, I had a lot of fun designing out this castle. Here's my favorite page right here. I don't know why it just looks nice with all the various um, accordion style pieces. And you know, but designing a paper castle actually is a lot of work. I'll show you a little bit more about that. See, and there's the base that you put everything on. Woodford Castle. Oh, a special thanks to Angela Hayes. Um, she's a collaborator on this project. She's also writing a pirate story about this castle. And um, she's going to be um, designing the, um, the castle's textures so it's um, not just plain sheets of paper. But look, I wanted to show you, I use 90 pound or 100 pound cardstock for this. And that's what you should do. You should put cardstock 90 or 100 pound in your printer and print on that because our regular paper is kind of a lot uh, it's kind of flimsy for this project but if you don't have um, cardstock or index stock paper that's thicker um, you can use manila folders like this print up the packet and um, glue stick down the pages to the um, manila folder paper right and then you can cut the pieces out and assemble it that way so you can still do it I mean you can improvise in any kind of a thin cardboard the thinner the better when it's cardboard and then you can make a pretty sturdy castle and here's the tools that I used and so now let's take a look at um that thing in the middle is a bone folder if you're not familiar with that it's a nice little tool for paperwork But let's take a quick look at a few things of me building a little bit of um, so you get a sense for how something like this is built See, I'm going to glue this one tower to with the back plate. But like I was saying, you know, designing a paper castle actually takes a lot of work. Um, you go through different stages, and I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on how to design your own paper castle. That's more like an intermediate thing. You know, building a paper castle like this is for beginners. But designing a paper castle, that's a little bit more complicated because you have to... A lot of things you have to kind of figure out, and I used my my light box a lot for this for this to get the pieces to match up correctly, and you got to try to understand how they're going to assemble, and then you got to redraw them because they don't assemble quite right, and you got to figure out the as best you can the optimal way to build the castle with out of paper, because it isn't built the same way as a regular castle. So let's take a look, and then you you know you cut out the pieces, glue them together. I mean, it's, yeah, this is a quick series of just pictures from one of the ones that I built. It is one of the front towers. So it's all modular. You kind of build sections and you glue them together. So you build a new section like that and then you glue it on like that. And then the stairs, you glue the stairs set together and you glue that on. And then the little um, wall for the drawbridge and moat and you glue that on. And that's about it. That's the, that's the completed castle right there. It's kind of nice. I like it. Um, like I said... Um, the link is in the description of this video if you want to download the PDF packet, print it up, and make your own castle. So, 
<clears throat> a couple more things here. Take a look. See, this is gives you an idea of the amount of work it takes to design a paper castle, even a simple one like this. See, there's one of the early ones that I did where I was trying to figure out how it would assemble. You know, and there's a later, you know, and different things, and the stairs proved to be um, challenging. But yeah, there's one, two, three, four, it looks like maybe five iterations. And those are full iterations. I had plenty of partial pieces that I was figuring out. So one more thing um, I wanted to show you. If you follow my channel, you know I have a Patreon page now, and I have this dream of building a real castle. So I'm starting to, you know, kind of visualize that real castle. And here um, I've laid out uh, just a paper sample on um, on the floor plan that I have the the original floor pl floor plan that I have of the castle here is under that pa under that castle and then I now I've kind of starting to see how it goes visually uh, in three dimensions like that that's going to be observatory and the towers and the the market and uh, you know the living quarters and stuff like that and it's you know it's kind of fun if you if you want to know more and you're curious about this you know. Um, you can check out, you know, ch click on the Patreon button. If you want to participate, they're wonderful. I'd, I'd very much appreciate it. But, you know, I'm going to move that project forward. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.